Hi, everyone. It's Charlie Lavoy here. Um, thanks for joining me for this week's check-in. Uh, you might be seeing this for the first time because previously my weekly check-ins were behind a paywall, but uh, they are now open to anyone who wants to visit my Patreon site um, to make up for the loss of exclusive content to the patrons. I'm going to be adding in some promo codes for the um, merchandise. So patrons, you're going to be able to get discounts on the merchandise. And I don't know, maybe, you know, I'll save some videos just for you. Like if I get frustrated and I start smashing things or something, I'll save that just for the my special, uh, you know, supporters. So picking up from last week with Miliki. Um, what we did last time is I went in and showed you guys how we could set a start keyframe with all of these points defining the shapes and then I've got down here on the timeline right around the two second mark here um, one frame after the two second mark is the second position and I keyframe between the two so at zero the eye all those points are where I've set them there and they move to there but uh, what happens when we want this character to blink or what happens when we want her to have one eye open at a time or have the eyes partially open um, am I gonna go through all of these keyframes uh, through all of these little uh, shape layers um, every time I want to make a change I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. And uh, so we're going to use the sliders function in joysticks and sliders, which is over here. So to, to set up a slider that I can just have one layer that just controls the position of the eyes, um, we'll use this plugin. And the way this will work is that the, um, the zero, the, the value of zero when entered into the slider will be frame zero and the value of 100, as in 100%, will be set at frame one. So what we'll need to do then is just very simply grab all of these keyframes that are way over there at uh, two seconds and put them on frame two. We'll go ahead and do that for this one as well. Grab all those, put them at frame two then it's really simple we just select the layer and we go to create a new slider null and I'm gonna call it left eye open so okay what that means that we have now is if I uh, make the preview more prominent there I have it's created this null object and that null object has this little slider and the slider, as I go from 0 to 100, wow, look at that. It goes from position 1 to position 2. It can even go below position 1, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so now instead of um, messing with that every time that I'm trying to make a change to what's going on, I'll just very simply um, I have one track that I need to keyframe instead of like 20, right? And so at right here, right before second two, that's going to be set to 100, meaning 100% 100 of the way to position two. And it's going to open. And we'll do the same thing with the right. Real simple, just create a new slider null. And we'll call it right eye open. And we'll expand that out. Set that to... 100% at position 2 and at frame 0 we want it at 0% for position 1 and there they go how beautiful so um, it's gonna become desirable to me to have these two um, ganged together so that uh, the left eye and the right eye are linked in their movements when I want them to be um, so what I'm going to do is to create a new null object. A null object is just an object that there's nothing in it. It just takes up space and holds a position. Um, it doesn't actually take up any space. All it does is hold a position and can hold um, controllers. So inside of there, we're going to put some expression controls. 
Uh, this is going to be a slider control. And that kind of is just uh, manually doing a little bit of the work that the plugin did for us in creating these two controllers, right? So I'm going to rename this as I control because um, we're going to use it for a couple of different things. And we'll rename this slider as um, Eyes Open Gang. The next step then, um, in order to put those together, is hide the transform controls, open up effects. So these are these slider controls that we generated, right? Like I just showed you, they go from um, position one to position two. Well, I don't want to actually keyframe them in here. Um, because I want them to work together without having to manually do them together all the time. So um, what we're going to do is just take this one and there's this, see this little uh, spiral here that's called a pick whip. So I'm going to basically set this to follow this so that the this slider inside of the right eye open controller will always take its number from uh, the one up here. And I'll do the same thing with the left eye. So they both are basically getting this value in the eye control that I made manually is being copied and pasted into the values in each eye. Now, folded it down from all those channels into two at first, and now I folded it down into just one channel that I need to animate. And I can set it to 100, and there it is. All I gotta do is make one keyframe. Uh, to control all of those millions of points. They're not millions, but lots. <laughs> so, so we'll have the eyes open and we'll let it stay open for a minute. We can even do a little blink. Um, we make a keyframe value 100 and uh, maybe we just go over like two frames and we set it to zero again. And then we could go over a couple more frames. If you think about it, your eyes open up a little slower than when they close when you blink. And so, blink, there it is. So instead of controlling all of that crazy chaotic stuff, I can just very easily and fluently um, do minute tweaks that cascade throughout a whole bunch of points and control a lot of stuff. So uh, this is the weekly check-in. Uh, this is what I'm going to be putting out once a week. Um, if you got anything out of this or if you had a good time watching it, uh, consider becoming a patron. It helps me to clear up time to do this stuff. Um, you could also consider buying a shirt if you wanted. Or you could skip all of that and just enjoy uh, you know, me making a, an ass of myself and teaching people how to do these things. So I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.